Neil and Miyaka love the show and have especially enjoyed your hot and fresh takes when I'm examining when examining cancel culture. I'm hoping you can weigh in on a dilemma I'm facing. I'm getting married this summer in Chicago and I'm in charge of cool. choosing the music. Is it acceptable to play R. Kelly in a large, diverse event such as a wedding reception? On the one hand, R. Kelly's a monster. On the other hand, Ignition Remix is a hot jam and unofficial anthem of Summertime Shy that tends to get people moving. My fiance would rather we avoid the issue. Um, this is is this woman black? Yeah, I'm trying to figure this I out. I don't think she is. Shot, da, 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 da. It doesn't sound also, like a black person she did it. Summertime here. shy. White people weren't saying that before Kanye. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, don't don't. Amazing. I don't think black. I don't think white people should use slang. I don't think that white people should play R. Kelly at their weddings. I do believe that there should. be there should be a sad version of the Ignition remix. Oh, no. Oh, no. Do a sad version and make it, just make it, or take the beat and do, use the same melodic tempo of his lyrics and just make it about something else and have somebody else sing it. I had the, when, when the R. Kelly and Michael Jackson stuff really started popping, I was like, somebody should just, Bruno Mars should just buy their catalog and recover all their songs and just to make everyone feel better no they well yes we all still get the songs again great or good i know but we that's have a to, little so like eight and a half billion people have to suffer because of fucking james Safechuck and the other kid who got popped by michael jackson we all have to so suffer fair. what they're doing to us is actually worse than what michael jackson did to them <laughs> no don't try to stop me, Bianca. Stop. Sure, they got sexually molested. But what what is happening Neil, to us with up. Thriller being taken away? You know what it's like to have Thriller, something as strong as Thriller? You want to talk about losing your innocence. <laughs> For an adult person to have Thriller, all of these memories taken away from them is okay. worse than any <laughs> child molestation I heard about okay. on Leaving Neverland, and I stand by that, and I will stand by it Neil has left until Neverland. the end of time. Okay. <laughs> um, I, it's weird. I'm not gonna lie. If they're black, I think they can still play it a little bit. I, but we agree that white people should not. No, but then it starts getting into this weird thing where the problem is R. Kelly's music was definitely talking about like fucking underage girls. Yes. Whereas Michael Jackson was like, you know. Yeah. Not that. Not that. Same. Different, 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 yeah. different, different. He should have been canceled for singing B.I.G. Bring that ass to me. Dude, you're the only that, person that's said ever that said that. Dave I said that in 1997 where I was like, whoa, 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 I have what? always been confused. I was like. One time I was listening to my room, I was like, B-I-G, bring, bring that, that ass, ass to me. me. And I'm like, I, is he talking about Biggie or a girl that's standing next to He's, Biggie? He he asked Biggie to bring a girl, girl over, but that's it a double, sounds, it's a 50-50 situation. Sounds, Cancel him for that. Forget about Ali and everything else. Should have been canceled oh way back then. We should have never even heard of it. <laughs> okay. How Neil feel?